and welcome to the library. First, for all students that would like to visit the library, you need to sign in at these two computers. They'll always be open. And if you have any questions about the library, this circular desk over here is where you're going to be able to find people that can help you with any questions you have. All right? Follow me. If you look over here, we have books all around the library on these shelves. These books on display are the books that typically tend to be checked out faster than we can put them back on the shelf. If for some reason you can't find anybody at this desk, there are always the offices right here where you'll be able to find not only our adult staff, but also our youth staff. We have a nice resting area over here if you would like to read books in your spare time. Also, computers for any projects and assignments you need to catch up on. There are expectations for printing privileges, and all those are listed on the computers. Over here, you can see some students already working on some classwork. And back here, we have our manga section. These books are typically checked out and returned the same day. Manga, it's a quick read and a good time. If you can see these books that we're passing over here, these all have a different colored label. Each of these different colors represent a different genre. Um, most of our books are stored on these shelves. Um, and over here, we have a lot of literature that is usually referred to in your English classes. We have a lot of Anne Rant, The Odyssey, uh, Macbeth, Lord of the Flies, a bunch of other types of literature. Over here, we are currently storing all of our super cool yearbooks, and hopefully towards the end of the year, we'll have a sale on those. Right here is our makerspace. Our makerspace right now is this area. Um, if you'd like to use those, you need to find the proper adults to help you with that. But after construction, that makerspace will be moved over there. If you see the pillars, everything behind those pillars will become the new makerspace. Also, if you have any words that you do not know about when you're reading, we have two very big dictionaries over here. Um, if you can't find a word in there, honestly, you're better off to Google it. But I can't think of a word that's not in here. Um, if you needed to watch anything because you're not a big fan of reading, we have tons and tons of tapes all around these dictionaries and over here. These two shelves are full of videos and documentaries that you can watch. We have a lot of upcoming things with our construction. We are planning to have an area for technology, like little booths for computers and tables. Um, we will have, as I said before, a makerspace five times bigger than our current one, which will be very cool. This whole place right here will be redone, and they're going to have frosted glass, which will have privacy for the upper classrooms, but will also make a really nice, unique look in our library. Here is the main area for the library. Usually classrooms come down here if they need to show something on a projector. Um, if not, they usually come down here. It's a lot cooler. And overall, a nice place for students to come down and relax, read, and work on projects. Welcome to the library. Hello, I'm Kaylee. What is, what is your name? I am Ms. McCorkle. I'm the media specialist here at Northrop High School. What is new this year? There's a lot new this year. This is my first year in this position and I'm pretty excited about it. I am gonna be hosting what I'm calling the project of the month out of the makerspace. We want kids to be making some things out, of, out in the makerspace during lunch, before school, after school. This month is going to be little buttons that they can make for just about 50 cents. We're gonna feature some bats and other Halloween kind of stuff. Nice. It'll be fun. So what is the makerspace exactly? So the makerspace is a place where we have the capability for kids to sew things, to 3D print things. Uh, they can use a Cricut, which a lot of their mothers have, so they probably know what those are about. Um, we even have this uh, machine called Carvey, which will like carve into wood and metal. It's nice. pretty cool stuff. And that is that room back there, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. So like you said, students can come in before mm -hmm. school, after lunch. Tell them what they probably need to do the most is follow our Instagram page at Northrop High School Media Center. It's at Northrop HS Media Center on Instagram. 
There'll be links there so that they can um, sign up for different dates so they can come in and make buttons if they want to. So does, I know you said that you did host that. Do you host anything else in the library? Yes, we do. We, I host, I'm the particular sponsor of the Gender and Sexuality Alliance group, support group for LGBTQ people and allies. And we meet every Tuesday now. We switch from Monday to Tuesday from 4.15 to 4.45 here in the media center. Nice. And what do you guys do? Um, that's a support group basically to try to raise awareness and safe places for LGBTQ people. Nice. I like that. Thanks. So what is your favorite part about the library? My favorite part is getting to help students find that perfect book to read. Um, helping kids who think they're not a reader or that they hate reading actually find a book that they really enjoy. Nice. Okay. What should students expect from the library after the renovation? The, the library is going to be incredibly beautiful after the renovation. They're, it's going to be huge. So when the library was first built, you had a lot of book repairs and you had a lot of reference materials that were big, heavy volumes that were meant to stay here in the library. All of that, of course, has moved online now. So we use subscription databases instead of those big reference books. So all of this like um, storage area around the outside is going to be gone, and this space is going to be even bigger. That can be imagined. Okay. And then the maker space is actually going to be about five times bigger than it is right now. And we have a couple of brand new 3D printers coming that are going to be a lot of fun. Is there anything you want students to know about the library? Um, that they need a pass to come from their teacher or um, they can come before school and after school. I'm happy to help them find a particular book if they're looking for something specific. Or if they just know what their interests are, I'm happy to help them find a book that is in their own interests. Um, we'd love for you to come in during lunch if you have a pass from a teacher to be able to come in and work on something during lunch. I try to keep it kind of low key in here because I have a lot of kids that want to come in here and relax over lunch. They don't want to be in the big crowd that's kind of um, overwhelming for some kids at times. So coming into the library instead and listening to music or working on a project a lot of times is easier for them. And there's no food or drink allowed, right? Correct. <laughs> no food or drink. Eat before you come down. Hi, I'm Hannah Archie. And I'm Madison Stockers. This is just a quick PSA on behalf of our janitors for our students. So, school can get pretty dirty pretty quickly. And when I say the school, I mean the entire school. The commons. <laughs> the bathrooms. Their offices. The libraries. The hallways. The classrooms. And, and the, the cafeteria. cafeteria. <laughs> so when you're leaving your trash all over the school, take into consideration that the janitors are the ones that have to clean that up. So next time you throw a piece of trash on the ground, think about how the janitors are people too. You want to do it at your house? Don't do it here.